Other big news, we are heading back to the moon. While we were all sleeping, NASA launched its Artemis mission. It's our first time trying to get back to the moon in about five decades. Our resident space geek, Scott Budman, has been tracking this for us all day long. <laughs> Scott, you take amazing photos of the moon and of space, by the way. Uh, this mission has been scrubbed a few times yeah. because some logistics, hurricanes, things like that. Finally launched today. Would you see this day? Did you see this day coming? It is. It's very exciting. You know, we've been waiting for this, Janelle, and for the previous generation, you know, 1969, first time Three, on the moon, the last two, Apollo mission one. was back in 1972. So here we are, what, 50 years and later, actually going back to the moon and there are big plans to first with Orion, which was on board the Artemis and is on its own path to the moon right now, to get within 60 miles of the moon to circular around. You know, we're going to see some amazing pictures there. And then, from what NASA hopes, in about three years to once again send astronauts to the moon. So this is very exciting. And many of us who are not quite old enough to remember, let's say, the, the moon launch landing in 1969, you know, we get to see this. And in a few years, we get to see it again. And there's all this excitement about going back to the moon and for a lot of people this is the first shot yeah the bay area is very tied to space missions how was the local community local workers involved in this mission they really were so nasa ames which has a huge space program they actually developed and built the heat shield that will be really important when orion comes back to earth i spoke earlier with uh, one of the chief engineers on the heat shield who said he's very proud the whole team is proud about what they're putting up there into space okay this is artemis the test of the heat shield when Artemis 1 returns to Earth is the number one priority of this mission. And that heat shield was uh, developed, created, and tested uh, by uh, our team at NASA Ames Research Center. That's very cool. So this is Artemis 1. Mm -hmm. What happens next? There's Artemis 2, Artemis 3. What are those missions? Well, from what I understand, Artemis 3, the plan is to get there and to get astronauts back on the moon by 2025 mm -hmm. and eventually build some sort of, I don't know if even colony is the right word, but to get to the point where we can exist on the moon for a certain period of time. I've talked to NASA engineers. In the long future, the goal is to do that, but eventually on Mars. And I think this is sort of, I hate to call it a step on the way to Mars because it's so cool to go to the moon, but eventually to say, hey, if we can do it here, maybe we can do it there. Yeah, this mission much more in depth than the ones 50 years ago. Right. And uh, very fascinating. Can't okay. wait to see some of the images that are yeah. coming back. Thanks for the update. Bet. Thanks, Scott. Well, want to go in depth on the Artemis Moon mission? We've got you covered. Just go to our website, mbcbayarea.com, and you can check out our visual guide. You can track where the Orion spacecraft goes from here and how it plans to come back to Earth.